So did the Grinch just steal Christmas from us? Check this out. The Dow Jones crashes. The NASDAQ crashes. It's like the last 10 minutes of market being open. S&P 500 crashes. What the heck is going on? As you look at Mullen right now, now I'm still gonna cover it because most of you want me to cover this stock even though I exited my position once they announced that the third reverse stock split was approved on Monday. And just so you know, since Monday, Mullen is down over 50%. It was trading around 14 and a half cents and it closed the day at eight cents. And you can just see, constantly crashes down. Now this has nothing to do with the stock market, okay? I think a lot of people um, just exited call options, okay? They were up big. There's probably some news on it. I haven't even looked into it yet, so definitely check that out. But look at Mullen below me, 99 million in volume. The open was at 0 0.08. The low on the day was 0 0.07. Now, I have been updating the Patreon of exactly my target of where I think Mullen can go to next. So again, if you want access to that, check out the links out down below. We have an amazing community and we all actually help each other, which is pretty cool with different stocks. And a lot of people in the Discord actually call out runners, which not really my style. I'm not really get in, get out type of day trader. I'm more like, let's look at the next week, two weeks, or even couple months as I've traded DraftKings when I was at 15 bucks. Now it's over $36. Palantir down at six, $7. Tesla all year. But let's get back to Mullen. Other stocks too, like DNA, which I've shared with you all. It's on X from Mark Basil. He has been very vocal when it comes to Mullen Automotive and the Mullen community. He seems to be upset with what some people are saying in regards to him. Um, again, I don't have a whole lot to comment on Mark. I think he's he's obviously hired by Mullen. They're paying him. He has a job uh, to attack the dilution, the toxic lenders, all that stuff, which is kind of weird to me, but we'll see how this plays out. Look at what he says here though. Be a time soon that I won't be able to communicate with the community, with Mullen community. That time is coming soon. Mark has also said that just wait for announcements very soon. I don't know where it is, but he says announcements are coming very soon. We've heard this before and I agree with him. I believe him that announcements are coming soon because this is what Mullen does. As you can see my little chart set up here, this is not a real chart set up, but you see that Mullen dips. This is the last three months, by the way, it dips and then it has a little run and then it dips and then it has a little run and then it dips and then it has a tiny run and then it dips some more, has a little run, dips some more, run, and now it's dipping. So I do think a run or a bump up or whatever you want to call it is definitely coming from Mullen Automotive. But again, I don't think it's going to happen yesterday, today, what I've been saying. This is why I sold and I've been waiting because the reverse stock split gets announced tonight, by the way. It actually happens at 12.01 a.m. Eastern time, I believe. So I'm Pacific time. So that's about nine o'clock my time tonight. So tomorrow they got to be over a dollar which it looks like, which I don't know. So let me know down below. Are they going to split after hours when it closes or are they splitting as of the price today? Because I think the price today, it closed at eight cents. So that means it's gonna go to $8 tonight and tomorrow we're gonna be trading at eight bucks. Another question I would have is, do you think anyone is gonna be buying at $8 or do you think it's gonna crash even lower and then people might buy in for a swing trade, okay? I think Mullen is more like a swing trade right now I have this belief until I see buybacks happening, until uh, insiders start buying, until massive deliveries start happening with Randy Marion and other companies. More news like that, like good news because they even dropped news today. I'll update you guys on the news that they dropped today. But that news didn't even help because today it just crashed all the way down after they dropped that news. Here's the news they put out today. You can see that they can sell in more states now. Basically, that's what that's saying, right? It says the District of Columbia, California Air Resources Board. Let me scroll down and you'll kind of see more about this as I explain it. So they can now sell Molin in every state throughout the US. Okay, that's pretty cool. But they also added this. They can sell in states like California, Connecticut, Colorado, Delaware. You see the list right there, okay? company now is in receipt of both environmental protection EPA and CARB for the class one EB cargo van. This is actually really good news. 
it's a step in the right direction. But this explains that they, what they've received recently. Again, we need better news and this is the news they put out and Mullen started crashing. Additionally, the certification gives the Mullen one eligibility for critical state EV incentive programs. The CARB certification takes on even more significance with the recent advanced clean truck regulation, which will require that all local delivery and government fleets must be zero emissions by 2036. Okay, so that's way too far out. What I think is going on is what I've said, I believe is going to happen, is the third reverse stock split was always supposed to happen. I said months ago, it's gonna be a one for 100. Okay, I think a lot of people knew this. We all assume this, right? Because it's the last reverse stock split they can ever do. The scary part is they're only gonna be splitting at eight cents, which is gonna get them to $8. And it might crash lower right it might turn around who knows it's it sold off 50 percent the last three days this is good in the long run if mullen really becomes a successful company right paired with randy marin and, and the deals they have with what brad has told me I'm trying to talk to him still and find out new information i'm about financing that he brought up he said you know ally bank might be a win and they might be able to do that with mullen's vehicles very soon so I'll update you all on that. This is what David said. The CARB certif certification is an important milestone for Mullen as sales in the CARB compliant states represent over two thirds of all EVs sold in the US. The interesting thing is Brad has also said California is wanting a lot of business with these vehicles. They've already done colleges for the campus vans out here in California. Okay, this is what David said. Well, that's what Brad said, but this is what David said right here. As a next step, we are working to ensure the Mullen One is also part of all eligible state incentive programs to further support the sale and adoption of the Mullen One. Again, guys, it's all planned. The reverse stock split was planned. The stock price is tanking. It was planned. Insiders don't own anything. I would wait to go long on the company again until insiders start buying. The buyback program actually starts happening because Mullen hasn't been doing that. This is all just noise right now, okay? I do think there's gonna be a flush out after this reverse stock split and there's gonna be opportunities to buy in and swing trade the stock. This is just my own opinion, this is not financial advice. This is just me literally looking at Mullen for the last year and kind of seeing how it's been moving. Um, I'm, not, I'm not turning into a negative person when it comes to Mullen, I'm just turning into a realistic person when it comes to Mullen, I believe, with what I think could happen next, right? So you always have to do your own research, do what's best for you and your family, but for me right now, this is why I'm starting to look elsewhere for higher gains potentially than what Mullen can return. But I do still think Mullen can return something if you buy in at the right time, like a lot of companies. And Mullen's just kind of painting that picture for itself. Unfortunately, you could just look at the charts for the last year and it doesn't look good. So hopefully this was helpful today. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know what you're doing. We'll see you on the next one.